farmers it's river here and i am on the val farmer map because i wanted to do a special episode on updating the course play uh, lawrence crest seems to be having an issue with course play and i just wanted to show exactly what i do and i'm sure this might help some others out there to just get course play updated and or even downloaded so what I'd like to do real quick, I'm on the map just so I can show you this. Um, and you might not even be able to see it. I, I don't know how well this little tiny uh, thing is going to show up. But let me, let me point out that just right down here in this corner, it says V5.01. And then it has .00025 dev. So that means that I am on version 5.01.00. 0.25 dev development version so this is like sort of experimental as far as I know this is you know that's where you look and I'll show you something else like when I look in my mods folder you know the mod selector page it says version 4.1 but this is telling you you have the real version right down here so what I what we'll need to do so I might as well just get out of uh, farm sim altogether and close it out so that, that way you don't have any file corruption issues. Is yes, we'll just get out. And I'm just going to quit it. This is my test map. You know, so I'm just going to quit. Yes. All right, so here we are. Oops. That's right. This pops back up. Yeah, I'm going to leave this all in. Just, you know, I don't think I'm going to edit a whole lot of this. But So let's go out and quit so you can just see every single thing I do. So let's just get go back. All I did was put an FS17 course play GitHub into a Google search. However you search is fine. Bing is wonderful. But I'm sure it'll pull it right up too. And the very first one is uh, github.com and it's slash course play slash course play. So if you just click on that, this page right here will open. So, you know, they, they have some things about the developer version. I mean, you can read through all this. It's... You know the instructions aren't perfect but at the same time they're they're pretty good that's how i figured it out the first time now by the way at this point i haven't this is the very first recording so i haven't i might make a mistake i might end up having to re-record it and you'll never hear this but in any event this is where you're going to click to get the latest developer version so let's just click on it i haven't downloaded it yet so it then comes up here and says, well, how do you want to do it? Open it in the desktop, which I don't know exactly what that would do. But again, I, I am a programmer, but I'm not very, I'm really not that great with modding things. So, so I don't understand all the ins and outs of it. But um, any, in any event, I'm going to click this download zip. And then, you know, what do you want to do? And I'm going to, for me, I'm just going to click save as so we know where this is. Plus I have a called a special place where I download all these things so in my case I'm you know just going to go down to my D drive and then hit you know I have this thing called FS17 stuff again wherever you download things to is and then it says course play master dot zip so I'm going to save it and I'm going to say yes Ooh, you know what no let me go down to or up to courseplaymaster.zip and I'm just going to rename this one one because I'm not sure exactly what that is I it, you know I, I don't want to overwrite this one so let me just cancel this for a second we're going to hit it again see again I haven't practiced all right let's hit save as and sorry guys we got to go back there again d drive f17 stuff and then now I'm going to hit save and that way I know that whatever I had before, whatever version I had before, just in case, hey, this one may foul up. Now I know I have a copy of each of the zip files. So I'm going to go ahead and just click open folder. So it'll take us right, right there. So there's my FS17 stuff video. Now I have another one down here. I know just from the past. So the last time I did this, I, you have to unzip this. So what I'm going to do is come over here and just put a one next to this. I hope you guys can see that, but it says course play master and it's a regular folder that was already extracted. So I'm going to come up here to back to the one we just downloaded and I am going to 
right click on it and click extract all and then it's going to want to put it just right in this folder uh, in its own folder but extracted to this uh, location and there we go fortunately it was pretty quick we don't have to wait 10 minutes and then it just automatically opened it for us so you can see where here is the original folder <laughs> so it's it's got a folder in a folder so now we're on course play master course play master so if you look this is actually you know the the file that we need for that so do you see that now the problem is this isn't a zip file you know i didn't unzip this one i unzipped the outer one but you know the, the purpose of this folder and file is to you know is to make a it's for developers it's for people that want to mess with it it's you know the github is is where the programmers kind of exchange things i guess you could say so i'm going to come into this folder here okay and then i'm going to highlight everything that's in here and i'm going to say send to compressed folder and then you can see it it made this other one so what i'm going to do Actually, I should have thought this through a little bit better. Let me just type in FS17 underscore course play. All right? But that's, I want to make it sure. If, if Let's put it this way. If you've never installed course play, I don't think it's going to matter at all what this zip file is called. And I don't even know that it matters what this zip file is called, but I'm going to cut this full file that we just created and I'm just going to go back out, you know, like up to the, you know, the original folder. I'm going to paste it up here. So this is, you know, what was unzipped and this way we just know where it's at. But the reason for all that is I want to come over to my games folder and, and see this name that I have here, FS 17 course play five. That's, that's the exact thing that I want to call this one because I'm just going to replace this folder here, this uh, zip file folder, whatever you want to call it. So let's go back down here. I hope, hope I'm doing all this slowly enough and I'm just going to rename this one. This is the one we just created a second ago. This, and, and just make sure that I copy and paste so I make sure I don't even make any typos. Bang. See that? Now what I want to do I'm going to go back over to my game. So, because I don't want to delete this just in case, you know, we foul it up. I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to cut this out of here. This is my games folder, FS17 uh, mods, Farming Simulator 17 mods folder in my, my game. So, this is where you put your mods. And just, again, because I don't want to foul things up, I'm just going to take this one. We'll come back over here to the FS17 stuff. And I'm just, I probably should put it someplace else so it doesn't get all, my. you know, sometimes I make a little folder, but I'm just going to stick it in here. And so this is, you know, the folder we just took out of the games folder. And I'm just going to call this Orig for original. There, see that? So now we have the original. So if I get, if I mess up, we can always just take this and put it back in the games folder and we'll be no worse for the wear. All right, so you might have to replay this if I'm going too fast. But in any event, we now can go back into, you know, we're in FS17 stuff. So I want to go to my course play, not the zip folder, down here. Course play master. This is where we were working out of. And then here's the new one that we just made. A lot of times you can, you can see by the date modified. So I'm going to copy this one. And then I'm going to go back to my games folder, the mods folder, and I'm going to paste this guy in. So there we go. I just pasted that new unzipped and rezipped folder back into here. It's got the same exact name. And then what we're going to try to do here is open up FarmSim 17 and see if, uh, you know, see how it goes. So we'll see when we get in here if we have a new version of it. Now I'll show you as we get into here, let's get through all that. If I come in here to career, and then in my case, here's my Val Farmer test map. You know, just I, I like to have a test map, especially when I'm playing in hard mode. 
because it stinks to buy equipment that, that you don't need. So let's hit continue. Now if I come down here, I want to point out that this should still say, where is it? See this still says, oh that's drive control. Where is, uh, where is course play? Is it even on this list? Sorry, I, maybe it does say the right thing. Oh, there it is, course play, five point, see this now? Oh, okay, I was wrong. It does say the right thing on this. I, I saw the drive control earlier, so I apologize. And it's checked, course play 5.1.0006. See that? So let's, we do want it checked, of course. So let's hit start. This might take a second, even though it, it's a fresh map, so it shouldn't take us too long to load in here. And then we'll go back and, and double check that, you know, that is the latest version. There we go. Let's hit start. And let's just tab until we get back to that same exact tractor, just so there's no doubt. Oops, that's right. It was in this building. So there we are. So we're in the same tractor. We'll hop in. Let's pull out just so you guys can see. All right. So we're going to get out of here. And there we go. Um, by the way, I did. Okay, no, I'm not going to change the subject because I'm. Uh, I'll change the subject in one second. So now we've opened up this, and again, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but right down here in the corner is version 5.01000066. So, you know, when you think about it, in summary, all I did was I went to that website, the GitHub website, clicked on the, you know, the button in the top right, downloaded it as a zip. I had to unzip it, you know, and then it, it showed me those folders. And then the trick about this mod is, is you have to go into that, you know, the main folder of it where all the files are and, and gather them all up and, and send them to a compressed file. It doesn't matter, you know, as far as I know, it doesn't matter. You could use WinRAR or whatever, as long as it ends up being a zip file. You don't want a RAR file. You want it to be a zip file. But I think WinRAR can actually make zips or whatever other program you use to compress things. I imagine if, if it's Mac, you know, whatever you do on a Mac, you just, it's the same idea. You got to get all those files in there. So anyway, I wanted to point something out. I am on hard mode here, but I had created this map in normal mode. And what I noticed is, is when I get into the tractors, they automatically start. And this was very confusing to me. And if you guys watch some of my videos, you, the first video, you'll see that this was true. Actually, the first video is coming out this morning at 11 o'clock. So this one might, I don't know. We'll see how long it takes me to get it processed. But it's, it's about 6.30 in the morning. I might get this one out first. But you'll see I was very confused by that fact. I mean, it, you know, this is hard mode. I, I can't prove it. But if you rewind the video a bit to when I was selecting. So if you do... I, you know, it's kind of a cheater's way, I guess, but if you, if you want your vehicles to start up immediately and still be in hard mode, like if we come in here and take a look at the pricing, the pricing's all relatively low. You know, you don't have super high, this is green where this would be 1200 or something if it was, or, or a thousand if it was, um, if it was normal mode. So we definitely seem to be fully in hard mode, just you know, and you, and you can do that by going into your game save and changing the difficulty setting. I won't get into all that now, but just wanted to point that out. Little aside, extra bonus learning thing, right? So, so there you go. The only thing I want to do is let's just get out of here for one second. Oops, I can't get out of here. Yeah, by the way, if you can't get out by hitting the Windows key, I usually come in here, hit Control R to delete, go to the Task Manager, close the Task Manager. So I just wanted to show you one more time because this is the trickiest part. You know, if we come back here, this is where I downloaded my FS17 stuff. You know, I extracted the course play master. I said, you know, extract all, right click and then hit extract all. And then once that was extracted, it created this folder down here and you, and you can change names and you know, and I recommend maybe you put everything in a single folder if you're new at this stuff, just so you know it's all in the same place. It doesn't really matter where you do this stuff. And if we open this up, remember it, it created this folder here, and then we had to go into that folder here. So this is what you want. And by the way, a general rule, you, not, 
Let me highlight it all just so nobody's confused. Oops, I keep missing that one. It's like I'm, there we go. So you want to highlight all of these, and then you want to hit Send to Compressed Zip Folder. Now, again, if you're on a Mac or if you're on some other, you know, you got some other stuff. You can see I have 7-Zip. I probably could use that. You know what I mean? Just it, whatever you use to zip them, it's going to create a folder in here, a zip folder, and then that's that's the one that's going to contain all the files you need. Just a little tiny bit more information, and then I'll wrap this up. You almost always, this mod description is like the required file. Like if you look at almost any mod, you're going to have a mod description folder here. If you're ever wondering about which one, where you need to zip things from, this is where it needs to be, is you know, it's, it's going to be in a properly done mod. You want to zip everything, including a mod disk folder. If you don't have that in there in the first level, the, the, it's not going to work. So, so there you go. So again, I, I zipped it and then I just, you know, made a copy out here so that we had it. So this is my copy, you know, of the latest version. And then I just went over and put it into my, into my mods folder. So Lawrence, I really hope that helps you. I mean, it, it's going to be the, about the best I can do to help anybody, you know, get this thing working. And, and it's, you know, the, by the way, if you want to do install it for the first time, just do everything I just did and then stick it right in here. So delete out your old one and I would recommend you copy it over just in case, you know, copy it to someplace else, move it out of here and then put in your new one. And, and I'm just a bit of a stickler and made it the same name. So there you go, guys. I truly hope that helps you. It's not all that hard. Just make sure you got some file discipline, and I think you'll, you'll be fine. That's the trick to it. Well, I hope you guys have a good day. Enjoy farming, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.